The time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised across the river forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. You found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Keep making villagers at your town center until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Valgara. Bit fear. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. You're close to an English base. You better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about 12 soldiers. Hello. 
Tiga. Kid, Tiga. Rabuga. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. Rabuga. <laughs> Click the dock and build a fishing ship. Kid. Bonnet. Kia. The other guy. Fish. Click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. Build a barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it. Kid? Rabuja.
Forgere. Fjidige. Forgere. Rabogge. Alle. Once you've gathered 500 food, advance to the feudal age at your town center. If you're low on food, build some additional farms.
Робоги. Don't forget, keep exploring the map. to attack. To protect your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. Click your town center, then click town bell. You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town center, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Kid? Now that you've reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will need at least 12. Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men-at-arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford it.
Remember to upgrade your weapons and arms at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith, don't you? Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge! Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. Thank you. 
Don't cut. Sterling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Good job! You've eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower, and our victory will be complete. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages, and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game, the most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. Sterling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word came in that the Sterling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the Hammer of the English. Edward Longshank's name's Wallace a traitor and a criminal. But Sir William replies that he cannot be a traitor since he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigor. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn. <laughs> <laughs> 